Look at that. Look at that mud down there just sliding. I mean, that is some ooey gooey <laughs> slidey mud. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that looks cool. <laughs> but it just can't climb it. Oh my gosh. Can we get that? Oh, oh we got a little higher. The face. <laughs> oh. Hey everyone, I'm Abby. I'm Nate behind the camera. Hawkeye is at home and Amelia is with Grandma. We are the RC Sailors. Welcome to our RC family. I am kind of excited about today's vehicle, only if it lives up to the real thing's expectations. This is the Remo Hobby 1093-ST. If you've looked at RC trucks, anything, this will look very familiar. This is clearly a knockoff of the Axial SCX-10 Trail Han Show, which is one of the best looking Axials there, there are. Now, I myself have an Axial Deadbolt. Nate has an Axial Falcon. Well, we got a bunch of Axial. Yeah, we love the SCX-10s. I mean, just love, love, love them. So this is a clear knockoff. This is not the real thing. This is a knockoff, probably stolen. It won't be as good. Just letting you guys It will know. not be as good. Um, cause I don't want you all, I don't want to not address the fact that this is what this is copying. Uh, cause it's blatantly obvious. Remo Hobby has been known to They copy. copy. <laughs> like, I don't think they have a single vehicle that is original. This is under $200. So that's what makes this kind of stand out to me. I hate that they're knocking off products, but if you're okay with that and you're looking to save some money, maybe this is the truck for you. This is 2.4 gigahertz. It's four wheel drive, 10th scale. It comes completely ready to run, has the transmitter, the battery. I think everything except maybe the double A's for the transmitter. This is meant to be a trail truck, rock crawling, just driving it slow and scale. So if that's what you're in the market for, something that looks scale that can take on different parts of the trail, then this is gonna be the truck for you. One thing Nathan and I love to do with our actual axial trucks, again, this is a knockoff, is go trailing with them. And we take two packs each, of two, two LiPo batteries each, and we go out one direction, and usually it lasts over an hour, hour and a half on one battery, and then we come back. This comes with a six cell nickel metal hydride, forgot the milliampage, Nate. 2000, maybe 2500? Yeah, battery. Uh, so this is what comes with it, but you can on the ESC change it over to LiPo. So on this battery online, it says it's only gonna get a 15 minute run time. So that's definitely an upgrade you're gonna wanna do basically immediately is to switch it over you to just, the LiPo you setting. You just use this little jumper here and it even tells you li LiPo right there. So you just switch the little jumper over and you're on LiPo settings to sell. And I love the battery placement too. It's up front here. So uh, that's gonna help you crawl up things. You want the weight low and up front. So it does have a brush motor. So all you brushless snobs, don't panic. Mm -hmm. Brushed is good for crawlers. This is a 550 motor and the ESC is waterproof. I wouldn't drive it nah. in water over, you know, the track body right here. It does have the nice alloy metal shocks yeah, that are oil filled. And um, the cool thing about it is it doesn't have the lights, but it has the buckets already installed. So you could pretty easily string a light set up down through there and plug it into the... And it even comes... <laughs> <laughs> the, Thanks, yeah, see. It even comes with it even comes with an on-off switch you can install. Oh neat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's cool. So yeah. you don't you have to buy the lights though. And then another cute, I'm gonna call it cute, uh, little accessory is that it has the toolbox on the back. Yeah, Built-in so toolbox. So Nate can put his Tootsie Rolls in the back there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think that's I think that's basically the gist of it yeah. all. Um, the there only are... thing I think we're gonna be disappointed in is the short run time on the nickel metal hydride battery. Metal. Metal, yeah, metal, lots of metal, metal, a lot of plastic, but some metal. The main metal. main framing parts here are metal. Yeah. And I think the biggest cheap out, like you can see, look at the, the seam. Tires. Look at the seam down the tires. Yeah. 
Yeah. They're kind of soft, but not really. They're kind of stiff. We'll be lucky if they even stay on the rims for... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's... If we like this truck, one of the first things we'll upgrade is the battery, of course, and the tires, yeah. and then add some lights. So if this truck is worth anything at all, basically you're going to get it with the intentions to upgrade it. Mm -hmm. um, so you're starting cheap, and then you're going to add expensive parts to it. That's Whereas... what I would do with this. So um, there's a creepy shed where I think they murder people over there. Yep. So we're going to go drive it over there and see oh, what that geez. is. Also, we found a cool, we just found a cool little spot. We're going to crawl all around here. Uh, just got this little valley kind of to ourselves here down the creek bed. This should be a lot of fun. I like it. I, I'm excited. Haters going to hate and you can make fun of us all you want, but I like body clips because they have uh, handles. Right. It's way easier in the winter. It doesn't hurt as bad. And also here's the transmitter. I forgot to show it to you guys. It does have the option to change it from a right-handed drive to left-handed. And then push. Yeah. Cool. No, left-handed people drive. I don't want to drive it like that though. Steering trim, throttle trim. There's the on-off switch. That doesn't seem to be doing anything. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's try it. I'm kind of excited. And I do want to drive this some. You got to let me drive it a little bit. All right, all right. Okay, so the steering is backwards right now. <laughs> oh, well, there's a reverse switch. There we go. It was on reverse, so it's okay. back on normal. Let's do it. Now it's pretty much ready to go. Down into the creek. Will we flip down in the water? I hope not. Oh, <laughs> Abby. Oh, <laughs> nice. Awesome. It's those tires. This is the true test of it. Yeah. Just stock. Uh, okay, there you go. Let me get up here. The tires are definitely struggling a little bit. Yeah. I'm trying to keep in mind, like, that can be upgraded. It's just like it's not getting that grip. Right. That most axials get. Maybe go up around to the right. Ugh. Oh, no. It definitely doesn't like that rock. <laughs> no. That's all right, though. Go up, right, up and around is okay. There you go. Look at the ice waterfall. <laughs> That'd be cool if it could climb it. Yeah, no, no way. way. And it can't even get over this rock. It's really wet, too. Yeah. That's a nasty sounding real car coming down the hill. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> car. It looks cool in the water. It though. does look good, yeah. That's well, that might be the dead end spot for it. If you can turn around and go back down the creek, that'd be kind of cool. <laughs> it's going to be a while. <laughs> <laughs> there were a couple other spots I wanted to try with this truck when it's my turn. There you go. I'm trying to drive slow just so it looks more scaled, but it seems to like to get stuck if I drive slow. It just needs to keep going. It's doing pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. Better than I expected. That servo could probably use an upgrade too. So now the challenge is going to be to get out of the creek. I think I think maybe look if you go down to the water part, oh. there's a fairly shallow area down there. If you can get down there. Oh no! Oh now you now you've done it. <laughs> Take two. There you go. Oh oh, all that weight in the front. It's wanting to flip. Nice, Abby. Sometimes Good job. Sometimes when you watch trailing stuff, it looks easy, but it's actually hard. It's, it's a little. This more, is the area. Takes a little bit more like skill than you would think, it's right? Don't you patience. think so? A lot of people want to just gun that throttle, but it's patience and finding the right path. Might not be able to climb up these leaves, and I wouldn't. I wouldn't hold it against it if it can't, because I'm not sure 
Oh, well, I'd wet, say the axles wet, probably could. Wet tires and then going on the leaves. Yeah, that's pretty wet there, so maybe not. Whoops, I went the wrong way. My bad. Okay, there you go. Finding another area. Good job. Another path. Well, I see one other spot. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, a little farther down. I think you got it. It's all right. I don't know. You can do it. Stuck on a stick. No. All right, Nate got the sticks thing. We're what finding that the steering servo is really weak. Yeah. It doesn't want to turn right very well, but also maybe it needs to be trimmed up a hair because it is going. It's going left a lot. So let okay. me just. Uh, I did not check the direction of it. Oh, okay. Well, that's yeah. A, that helps. Yeah. There, that's, a, that, that's all needed. All right, there we but go. it is a fairly weak servo regardless. And I think it does need to be upgraded. Dun, dun. I'll add scary music here. <laughs> <laughs> what is this for? I have no idea. Oh looks gosh. like it could have been a restroom at some point and now it's a murder house. Is it bad that I'm kind of scared? I'm a little scared. <laughs> I'm waiting for like a raccoon or something to jump out of it. I'm waiting for something. I'm just gonna stand at a good, respectful different yeah. distance. <laughs> and just zoom. I need to trim it up a little bit better. Increase my dual rates. It all sounds pretty good. I think that's something that would be worth pointing out. This is a very budget truck. I mean, we picked ours up at about 160, 170 bucks. Now listen. Not horrible. No. Not horrible. It's kind of neat what you can get for that price point. Let's go down here. There's some ice I'd like to drive on. Okay. All right. Ice patch. Knock off axial truck. I doubt Again, it can do much. On it's the ice. not an axial. And axial trucks, I could probably say the SCX 10s come way better right out of the box than that. Oh, so yeah, definitely. And probably after even some upgrades to this truck, the CX tins are still better. Oh, the ice! It, it is fun. So awesome. It is fun. <laughs> we just have almost made it. There we go. Nice. Let's see if I can climb up just a nice normal grassy hill here. That's pretty good. Pretty yeah. steep incline. Yeah. Come back around. We'll go down. It's got all that weight in the front, so I wonder how it can do going downhills. Yeah, I mean the battery's set in the back to no, it's help in the front. with. It's in the front. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, why don't I think it was in front. the back? Well, that's weird. So there's like no weight in the back. Right. Why? That's okay though, because when you're climbing up a hill, you would want all that weight up I in guess. the front. Mm -hmm. But the cool thing is you could add like, you could actually add lead weight in that toolbox. Yeah. It'd be a little too high. Yeah. But you could add weight in there. That's cool. So there's a long sheet of ice down there. Let's go try to wrap up that. Okay. All right, this ought to be interesting because that is just a sheet of ice. <laughs> just go nice and slow. And I like this truck, I really do. For the price and tenth scale, it's pretty cool. And then as things fail or just as you decide you want to upgrade stuff, slowly upgrade it. It's a really cool way to get into crawling. Yeah, it's definitely oh, go. a budget introduction into crawling. <laughs> I'm not trying to cheat by going on the edge. Ah. So I keep just resetting. I can use those leaves. That's there we so go. so fun. Yeah. <laughs> you got to try this. All right. All right. Good okay, job. This would be a good, now that I'm going to reset it, I'll show you guys full speed ahead. So let's. Down the hill. Down the hill, full speed ahead on a crawler. <laughs> See? Not too it's bad. It's just a crawler. You know, you don't, you don't need a lot of. It's pretty quick for a crawler. Oh, jeez. My turn. Whoa, 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 okay. <laughs> I had to. Who's at the controls now? Definitely Abby. <laughs> Try to keep the real cars out of the shot. Because when you're zoomed in on this, it looks pretty real. You're doing better than me. I think a little bit of speed is the way to go. It's <laughs> <laughs> fun. Ice and RC trucks are, it's always fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
this is not how this truck is meant to No, no, no. <laughs> See if you can climb up that rock wall there, Abby, right there. Slow her down, girl. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> the goal is this really muddy, rocky mess of a wall here. See if it can climb up that with a little bit of ice at the base. That's a challenge. His tires are just a little too hard. I think it needs to go more at like a, an angle. Yeah, and then it might roll. Yeah, oh. <laughs> you just like that ice. I do. Mm. I can't go side Yeah. Well, it doesn't get as much grip as I thought it would. Oh, there you go. You're digging in. Oh, nope. <laughs> Let me try this one spot here. I okay. gotta try it. I just see an angle You're that I wanna to try. Me up. No, I, I like the truck. I'm having fun. <laughs> but if I show you up in the process, that's okay. <laughs> Ice makes it hard to get the right angle. Yeah. Huh? There we go. This is the angle I wanted to hit right here, but it's kind of slipping, and I think it's—I think those tires are to blame. They just don't get much grip at all. Oh man! Look at that! Look at that mud down there just sliding. I mean, that is some ooey gooey, <laughs> slidey mud. Look at that! Look at that! Oh, that looks cool. But it just can't climb it. Oh my gosh. Can we get that? Oh, oh there, we got a little higher. In the face. <laughs> oh, are the tires too small too? Don't they look small? They do look kind of small. <clears throat> I'd get a little more clearance if I had a little bigger of a tire on there. Oh my gosh, look at that mud just digging in the back. <laughs> I need to drive it in some water. Yeah, you do. Okay, all right. All it's right. It's not going to happen. I wonder if it could even do our hill climb at home. Mm. I don't know if it could. I'm not sure if it could either. It definitely needs upgrades. Like, it's not really ready for crawling out of the box. It's doing an okay job, but Stupid if you want to get serious about it, it's not doing a great job. Look at all these little, little mud streaks I made on the ice. There's some water. Water! Well, I mean, I, I do like this truck. Now, if I, if I directly compare this thing to an Axial, or, or the, what's your new yellow favorite one? Vitera. Yeah, the Vitera. It's no comparison, but you really can't compare the price to this truck. I think this is probably the cheapest 10th scale, um, ready to run crawler that we've ever driven, right? Yeah. And it's doing pretty good. It's Definitely fun. has its issues <laughs> it does have its issues and there needs to be some upgrades but can it be driven out of the box and can you have fun with it yes are you going to enter contests with this and come home the winner no unless everyone else there is about as good as us <laughs> i just don't think i don't think a pro driver would enjoy this right out of the box but i do see a lot of fun to be had and if you're just looking to get into crawling I wouldn't see why this would be a, a bad first crawler at all. I think it's, a, I just, I'm enjoying it. And it makes me want to upgrade it. It really does. Never before have I had a crawler that I really feel the need to upgrade. But this one, I feel the need to upgrade it. <laughs> so, <laughs> Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Let us know in the comments. Yeah. It's unfortunate that Remo Hobby continually knocks off other companies' designs. Um, I do not think this is better than an Axial SCX-10, but I do think it's pretty good for the price tag. You know what I wish Remo Hobbies would do? Make this truck the way they did, right? Make the frame and all that, the internal stuff. Just make a different style body. The, the internal stuff really isn't a copy. It's, it's fairly original on the yeah. layout, fairly. I mean, there's a lot of copies, of course. It is still a truck. Yeah. I mean, it, you could say it's copying the CRV here if you really wanted to. But what I'm saying is, put a different body on there, a whole new shell. I don't know, maybe actually get a license for it and charge 20 more dollars if you have to. But I wish Remo Hobbies would 
not copy so close because they, I think they're almost hurting themselves by doing so because now people are gonna directly compare this yeah. to what they're trying to copy. Which is what we did this whole video. Yes. Because, I mean, it would be ridiculous of us not to do that because it's blatantly obvious. Yeah. But, hey, Axial, we love your stuff. We continue yep. to love your stuff. And we'll have Axial stuff linked in the description box below. If I can find the actual trail honcho, I'll link it too. And uh, I'll have this link below too, so you guys can directly compare them yourself. I personally, I love my Axials. Me too. I love them. There's no comparison. Um, but if you're on a little cheaper of a budget, check this guy or, out. Or if you're just wanting to try crawling, I honestly do like this. It's fun. Yeah. It, and it'll get you a taste. You'll get a taste of the hobby. If you enjoy it, then do your upgrades. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you can keep having some RC fun with us and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.